in Qadir. Assalamu alaikum. I would just like your attention for five minutes. Today I would like to talk about attending this procession. However, before talking about attending this procession, I would like to share the science of procession through Azadari. What is Azadari? A system of mourning on Imam Hussein. In other words, I shall say a universal objective initiated by Imam Hussein. High in character, restoring supremacy of religion, respect of humanity, preaching and protecting the message of God. He was against infidelity, oppression, tyranny, and barbarity. This remembrance and commemoration of Imam Hussain is called Azadari or mourning on Imam Hussain. It is the best means to promote Islam and give public awareness with the facts and realities of Islam and history. The effects of this in the existence of Islam are eminent till today. Azadari or mourning of Imam Hussein has educated us in all times in every environment and saved us from diversion. It is a part of a constitution of Shia religion started by Lady Sayyida Zainab. However, it is said that it was established by our fourth Imam, Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam. It is an institution with deep roots in the heart of Muslims. It also evolved into an institution for encouraging people to do what is good and declining the bad, teaching us to be civilized and good beings. As Islam spread, different cultures adopted different modes of Azadari. By the beginning of the 19th century, there was not a corner of the world, from Spain to Indochina, which did not have some form or demonstration of Azadari on the 10th of Muharram. Mourning on Imam Hussein is an important institution and we have to ensure that it is kept alive so to cultivate and nurture Islamic conscience in each one of us and that our children and their descendants remain committed to the cause of Imam Hussein. We are duty bounded to Allah and his Prophet to ensure that the next generation grow up to accept Azadari, not as a ritualistic activity or um, as a mean of atonement, but as a commitment to the basic values of Islam. Every time we raise our hand and bring it down to our chest in Matam, we are saying, La Baik, La Baik, Ya Mola. With every tear that we shed for Azadari or mourning of Imam Hussein, we pledge to resist the oppression of injustice, immorality, inequality, and falsehood. Chest beating and all such actions, including today's procession, express the emotion of grief, sadness, repulsion against the corrupted. This remains futile or hypocritical unless accompanied by a will to reform both at an individual level and community level. Now this is where procession comes in as it supports the theory of Azadari. The first procession for Imam Hussein was held in the marketplace of Kufa by Lady Sayyida Zainab as a sign of protest against injustice to humanity. And that practice has become a very effective symbol used by the oppressed to educate others. Processions since then have become an institution very effectively used to raise awareness all over the world. We must explore these means of um, taking Imam Hussein's message to the people. We have to examine such activities as blood donation, distribution of water, publication and distribution of leaflet, distribution of flowers, maximum usage of media to explain the events and the facts of Imam Hussein, who was martyred to save the basic values cherished by all communities. To conclude, Azadari, or mourning on Imam Hussein, is a means of peace for our dead hearts, an awakening for our drowsy souls. On the other hand, procession generates a major impact of this mission onto the society. Thanks to everyone who initiated and supported our seven annual Muharram procession and Azadari, it would not have been possible with sincere dedication of every single male, female, and local offices. I would like to thank the scholars that came up from all around the world to support the mission of Imam Hussein. And let us all together offer our allegiance to Imam Hussein. La Baika Ya Hussein! La Baika Ya Hussein! La Baika Ya Hussein! La Baika Ya Hussein!